village where mass is fun. This is the village where mass is done. Look for the people that you will meet every time you see them walking down the street. These are the houses and they are known, each by a number all its own. Along to the school gate and back again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Count all the places that you will see. Listen to the stories that there will be. Here in the village where we've begun to find out. Maths is fun. Maths is fun. Hello. I wonder what's happening in the village today. It's market day, and I know that it's the school holidays, so there's lots of people about. I can see Kate and Ben waiting by the bus stop. And here's their mum. She's carrying her basket full of lemonade and buns. Do you think they're going on a picnic? I'll tell you if they are after the number song. The number today is the number 10, and the song is called Ten Men on a Bus. <laughs> Here at the bus stop, five thin men Wait for the bus in the wind and rain Hoping that when it comes from town There'll be lots of room for sitting down Here in the bus, without a care Are five fat men with space to spare But they all say, though you are thin There isn't any room to fit you in one of the thin men says, I'm sure there is a notice by the door. This is a bus that's made for ten. Five who are fat and five thin men. Five fat fellows and five thin men fill up the bus that's made for ten. That bus looked crowded. I hope that Kate and Ben and their mum had room to sit down on their bus. Kate, Ben and their mum were having a holiday visit to the zoo. Mum had brought a basket filled with Mrs Tapper's biggest and best buns and a bottle of lemonade. I'm hungry, said Ben. Can we have our buns now? Not yet, said Mum. We've only just arrived. You can have your buns when we've seen ten animals. How will we know when we've seen ten? asked Ben. I'll write a list, Mum said. She put down the basket and found a pencil and paper. The very first animal they saw was an enormous elephant. It stood quite close to them, with its trunk waving slowly from side to side. Two, said Ben. I can only see one, said Kate. I think he's big enough for two, said Ben. Why don't we let him make the list? Don't be silly. Elephants can't write, said Kate. He won't need to, said Ben. Elephants never forget. An elephant, said Mum, putting it on her list. That's number one. Ben turned round. All right, he said. That's number two, then. Where? asked Mum. Over there, said Ben. That hairy old thing with the wrinkled face scratching itself. Really, Ben, said Mum. That is not a very kind thing to say. You know very well, that's the zookeeper. No, not the one with the moustache, the one up there, said Ben. Mum looked up, and there, sitting high up on a platform, was an old gorilla. That's an animal, isn't it, said Ben. Mum wrote on her list, number two, gorilla. Next, they came to the penguin pool. One was standing on a rock, flapping its wings. He's trying to fly, said Ben. Penguins can't fly, said Kate. Good, said Ben. If they can't fly, then they must be animals. That's three animals we've seen. We can call them animals, said Mum. I call them animals when I'm hungry and counting up to ten, said Ben. Number three, a penguin, wrote Mum, whose feet were beginning to get tired. Kate led them to the parrot house. More birds, said Ben. They can fly, so I suppose they won't count. But I'm hungry. Oh, do please stop saying that, said Mum. Aren't these parrots beautiful colours? I'm hungry, said a voice. Ben, said Mum. I didn't say anything. It was him, said Ben, pointing to a parrot behind him. I'm hungry, 
said the parrot again. It talks, and if it talks, it must be an animal, said Ben. It's a bird, said Kate. It's number four, said Ben. Mum wrote on her list, number four, a parrot. Then they came to the pit where the polar bears lived. One was lying fast asleep in the sun. Isn't it beautiful, said Kate. Five, said Ben. Another bear came slowly out of his cave. Look, said Kate, he has a friend. Six, said Ben. That's not fair, said Kate. They're both the same. Mum didn't say they had to be different animals, said Ben. That's true, laughed Mum. Five and six, she wrote on her list, a pair of bears. Now let's see the monkeys, Kate said. I like the monkeys. Mum's feet were now very tired. She rather wished she hadn't said they must see ten animals. These monkeys move so fast, it's impossible to count them, isn't it? said Kate. No, it isn't, said Ben, and he counted. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Mum looked at her list. All right, she said. One, an elephant. Two, a gorilla. Three, a penguin. Four, a parrot. Five and six were bears. Seven, eight, nine and ten were monkeys. Ten animals. Good, said Ben. Now we can eat the buns. But Mum had left the basket on the ground by the elephant house. Don't worry, she said. Nobody will have taken it. They hurried back. She was right. The basket was still there. The bottle of lemonade was still there. But they were just in time to see the elephant put his trunk through the bars and take the very last bun. Elephants do forget, said Ben unhappily. No, they don't, said Kate. This one does, said Ben. He forgot two things. I'm hungry and I like buns. <laughs> That was an eventful visit to the zoo, wasn't it? I hope that elephant enjoyed Ben's buns. I've got a model tree here and a fence. It looks a bit like the monkey house at the zoo. And there are monkeys swinging from every branch. There's some on the bottom, some in the middle, and some at the top. I wonder how many there are. I think I'll count them. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, I think I've counted that one before. I better start again. One, two, three, four, five. Now, did I start counting from the top or the bottom? I think it's going to be easier if I take the monkeys off the tree and put them down on the ground, and then I'll be able to count them. So let's take the monkeys over from this side. Come on, down you come. You rascally monkeys. You sit where I can see you. You can come down off the top. And your friend, you can sit there. I'm glad these aren't real monkeys. If they were, they'd move about so much it would be impossible to count them. Now, where's the other one? Oh, naughty monkey. He was hiding. Right. Now I can see you. What have I got here? I've got one, two, three, four, five monkeys on the bottom row. And one, two, three, four, five monkeys on the top row. Now, five and five make ten. I'll just count again and make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten monkeys, all behaving themselves. Bye-bye. Where we've 